some of the comments over the live stream from yesterday. And I have been preaching that you should have an LLC, you should have an EIN, you should have corporate banking hold for years. I've been preaching this for years. Not a moment, not a day for years. I have been on this tangent that you should have a holding company, that you should have operating companies. You should have your EINs. You, you should have all of this. I've been preaching this for years. And like, this is the craziest thing because I'm seeing people like, well, the Internal Revenue Service, you can't get your EI. This last minute Larry stuff has got to stop. <laughs> it's, it's this last minute trying to rush and get yourself together at the last moment. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. Like, if you've been listening to me, you should at a minimum should have an LLC, uh, a corporate banking, EIN, at a minimum. And here's the thing. Let's say you don't know what you want to do. You know how cheap it is to start an LLC. We're talking about between an LLC and a corporate bank, 200 bucks. And then you got your administration fee every year, 50, 75 bucks. We're not talking about a lot of money to have a corporation set up to have all this stuff set up because essentially many of you, and I'm getting ready. Like, uh, I had a lot to do today. I mean, it's, it's snowing in Georgia right now. And I went ahead to get my Christmas meal because I ordered my Christmas meal from Whole Foods because I didn't want to go out tomorrow. Because uh, essentially, it was a zoo in Whole Foods. It was a zoo. It was a complete zoo. So people be out. This last minute Larry stuff. But let's see what y'all saying up in here. Yep, it's Merry Christmas. The game is cold. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, we must be eyes are cold. Yes, it, it is easy. It is easy. Because essentially, like, one of the things you got to do is create your own stimulus. This is one of the things you got to do. You got to create your own stimulus. The $600 joke, um, the real action is getting this PPP money and EDIL money. It was funny. Hey, it's not that much money. Hey, if you live in California or New York, move. I I'm sick of the California. Look, no one told you. No one's got a gun to your head making you live in these states. Move or rise up to the cost. Either move or rise up to the cost. I, I don't want to hear about New York. I don't want to hear about California. No one's forcing you to stay there. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's funny. It's chilling. Hey, essentially, what I want to talk about is you guys need to go ahead and stop sitting on the pot. You, you need to go ahead and get some of this stuff going. Tracy, they sold out. Well, you have to order them two days before.
Hey, as the third world of North Africa, uh, North America turns. Hey, you know, it doesn't take a lot of time. And like, because I got so many people like, oh, the Internal Revenue Service web. You should have had your EIN. So um, today we did not do the last webinar of the year. Uh, I'm just going to start off. I'll be sending out some emails. And we're going to be doing a lot of training because there's a lot of things that people need to know. Use your stimulus. <laughs> well, this is one of the things. Trump says he's not going to sign this bill. So we're in a 10 day waiting period. In 10 days, it's going to put us one day shy of understanding if the Democrats will win Georgia Senate or not. So we've got a waiting period. Yeah, you must stimulate your own economy. Pretty much. Pretty much. You can get a loan as a small business. You can do so many things. Pretty much. Because right now, this is one of the things that is holding people back. Um, people are not taking action. And next year we're going to get into a lot of training in the corporate toolbox about taking action, setting stuff up. Because this is one thing that has thrown me. How many people, pretty much, like, hey, if it's, don't I don't want to hear about because 800 you, you chose to live in California. Nobody making you live in California. Pretty much. Things of stuff. Uh, you can take my YouTube course. I teach you how to make money with a small channel. No. Yeah. You got to order two days before. All right. Now, uh, this is, you know. Like next week, I may go ahead and take some time off. That's it. Oh, yeah, they're making new companies to get the PPP and EDL. Oh, yeah, my banker told me this. Hey. Move, man, move. Short change, that's funny. All right, EZ. Remember when this whole thing started and I, I said, instead of just sitting at home, uh, waiting for your unemployment, that you should take an online course, you should be active. Like what EZ did, I wrote a book. You're sitting at home. You're getting paid. Take advantage of the opportunity. Take advantage. So congratulations, EZ. <laughs> Things and stuff. You can start many businesses with zero dollars. You can start a service business. You can start an internet business. You can start a YouTube channel. You can start a podcast. There are so many options that you can start with zero dollars. So that's not an excuse. Uh, no, you can you cannot retroactively go back from that. And we're going to talk about that in the corporate toolbox. You would just have to redo that. Because you've already done it. You already put the check in there. The business loan you have to like let, let me let me go ahead and give you the math on this, the tariff counselor. There's so much stuff that's going on. A lot of these loans will never be paid back. Understand what I'm saying right now. Many of these loans will never be paid back. No, you can start. D 
That's pretty much it. That's how I did it, EZ. <laughs> Right now, it is um, everyone that's chilling. You should have saw the people in Whole Foods, man. They were, I mean, I. it is, it is crazy what I am seeing on it. Because it, it, it's Christmas, man. It's Christmas. And this is one of the reasons I gave my assistant the week off. And this is one of the reasons that night next week I may still be in chill mode. They're not verifying the income. They ain't doing nothing. New business did my EDL last night. PPP next. Hey. Because essentially, here, here's my position. I am for you guys. I want you guys to win. And this $600 stimulus check is an absolute joke. It's an absolute joke. It's a, it's a slap on the face. It's massive disrespect. So for you to go ahead and to stimulate your own economy, don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Know the rules so you can win. What are the rules here? All right, so if you're just an average American without a corporate entity, you're getting 600 bucks. But if you have a corporate entity, you're getting 125, you're getting 250, you're getting 500,000. Hmm. Hmm. See, th this is the thing, and I, I pull this from the Wall Street Trapper. Most folks are playing the wrong game, they don't understand. That's not even rent money. Well, he, here's the thing. Look at all the pork that was in the stimulus bill. Look at all the pork. Look at all the garbage. Look at all the junk that was in the stimulus bill. So let's go ahead and talk about why you all need to be corporate citizens. All right. The average man, no one really gives a damn about. They don't really care about the average man. And if you're a corporate citizen, this puts you in the environment to get way more. I mean, all right, let's go ahead and do the math. Let's say, let's take California. California. So it's $800 to do your LLC and you, you do a holding company and you do two operating companies. That's $2,400 and you open up your bank accounts, $2,500. Let's say, let's do California. All right. So that $2,500 spent will open up the door for you to get $125,000 125, $125, up to a million. 20. It's well worth doing. It's well worth doing. Hey. The bill is a joke. Yeah, the Wall Street Trapper, he's a very entertaining personality. Very smart dude. Six hundred belongs in the piggy bank. Happy holidays! Uh, one of the things is we're, next year we're going to start cooking with gas because uh, I'm getting ready to do some different training webinars in the corporate toolbox. Because I'm surprised at how many people don't even know what a corporation is. An LLC is a corporation. A C corp is a corporation. 
And I've been seeing all of these videos talking about the disadvantages of an S Corp. And I'm, I'm going to do some training on that because essentially what will happen is, let me see. Let me Google this. So All right, just read on this with social security. It's very interesting. Just keep checking on the PPP money. Just keep checking. Kevin, uh, th th this is a point I've been making. Like right now, I'm doing a whole bunch of reruns on Savage Finance. New content will be coming next year. Yeah, you got to start your own stimulus, man. You want to go to college? Go to college. Well, here's the whole thing with investing. Uh, for a trucking business, this is what I would recommend for a trucking business, Jabras. I recommend that you get your holding company and then you get an operating company that's the trucking business because the trucking business carries a lot of risk. So I would have that at arm's distance from my holding company. And then you have to get your authority, which is a different animal than the LLC for the trucking company. Trucking is difficult. Because if you get a C corporation for a trucking company, you will have some advantages. But the disadvantage is that you will be paying taxes twice. Unless you're going to run your C corp where it makes no money and then you're just going to pay yourself a salary and pay taxes on that and take all those deductions. Just depends. I know, man, a lot of people are crazy. Yeah, we're going to get into that next year. All right. <laughs> Jukebox, and that's funny. Yeah, because you you can you can select an S corp. You know, once again for S for your S corp people, S corp is a special tax designation. That's all it is. It's not a special LLC. Nope, because as many people are leaving New York, leaving California, a lot of people are staying. Rent's not going to go down. Uh, I know someone who had no employees and got the loan. Uh, Explain loyalty. I know people who got these loans 
who just started their business. Just apply. Coastal Designer, thanks for the five dollar super chat. Well, all right, here, here's the deal. Trump has said that he's not going to sign this bill. So the bill is going to be in limbo for 10 days. And then if Congress stays in session, which I feel that they will, then the bill becomes law. Then the money gets released. So, you know, you can mess around because essentially what's going to happen in the beginning of the year is like what's happening right now. People are off, people thinking about Christmas, thinking about New Year's, people thinking about the holidays, because essentially part of me hates this time of year because everyone is distracted. It's Christmas. You should have saw those folks up in Whole Foods and they were just getting groceries. They were just getting groceries for dinner, for thing, you know, Christmas dinner. I got me a turkey and some fixings in there for my Christmas dinner tomorrow. And essentially, the world will be distracted for about two to three weeks. We're not going to be doing business. Folks are not going to be doing what they need to do. They're not. So... Uh, yes, KPD2. I would create a separate LLC for YouTube. Return of Black Kings, drop shipping. They aren't very, eh, no. Fundrise, 9%. Okay. <laughs> as long as you follow the rules, no, you won't be taking a shower with Big Bubba. Uh, typically, it takes about until the middle of January for people to start working again. I call it the Christmas shutdown because it's Christmas, then New Year's, and it's parties, and it's hanging out with friends and family, and it's eating, and all of this other stuff, and it, the world just goes to hell. Yep. Pretty much. Once again, like here's the thing. This time of year, you cannot, I mean, people are everybody wants to relax and chill. I was at Whole Foods and I saw the Amazon Prime driver because, you know, Amazon Prime delivers groceries and he, he was like loaded down, loaded down. Happy holidays. Trump, Trump's living his best life. Yeah, because essentially <clears throat> what, what what's going to happen is. Um, Hiring is going to be really slow. And we're going to see what happens because mark my words, if the Democrats can get Georgia, you will see the mother of all stimulus packages. You will see um, crazy stuff. But let's talk about stimulating your own economy. Let's go back and talk about don't hate the player. Don't hate the game. Know the rules so you can win. What are the current rules are in play? If you're an average citizen, you're going to get fucked. But if you are a corporate citizen, there's all kind of benefits and goodies on the table for you. All you got to have is an LLC, EIN, business checking, and you could get some money. Like when the PPP, like folks were lying, like these folks who were scamming the government, saying that they had 150 employees and getting like two and three million dollars. Don't do that. <clears throat> Don't do that. But 
This is a way for you to stimulate your own economy. Like, let me tell you about a consult I had with someone. He got the PPP money and he didn't know what to do with it. He had $250,000. So, so this is what you do, bro. You go ahead and you put yourself on payroll and you take all of that PPP money and all of that EDL money and put it into your payroll bank account. Okay. And then this is going to give you a runway for two to three years that you're going to get paid while you run up, while you get your business up and running. So this is why I'm like saying, hey, go ahead, get the EDL money, get the PPP money, create your corporate banking and put that in your payroll account and put yourself on salary, G. Stimulate your own economy. Put yourself on salary. So you can use that money for self. Be legal. Be 100% in the guidelines. You'd be good to go. So many folks are afraid to play the game. But you got to play the game or the game going to play you. Well, we will see. Money's still flowing. <laughs> Trump's good to go. You got to stimulate yourself, man, because like essentially th this is one of the ways that the average person can win in today's economic environment. Explain royalty, you need to get in the corporate toolbox. I'll answer that question the next open forum. If you're selling on eBay, all right, here, here's the game. You got to have the proper corporate structure and records and QuickBooks. This, this, this makes the game. Uh, a lot of this stuff you can't Google. You got to know it or you got to know the right people to talk to. Yes, you, it's going to be required for you to have your EIN to get your business checking account. He set it up under the holding company. Will Green, I want you to go to the Seattle Secretary of State. And look up Amazon and look at the number of companies that have the same address under Amazon. You just say, I'm going to start a business. That's pretty much it. Yes, you got to become a corporate citizen. I'm getting ready to do some crazy stuff next year. I'm getting ready to do some crazy stuff next year. I'm getting ready to put some stuff out, to do some things, to set some stuff up, to do some new training. For those of you who love the disruptive mail content, we're getting ready to get into some stuff next year. Y'all going to love that. Uh, Savage Finance, we're doing the corporate toolbox here. I, I don't really know what I'm going to do here. I don't really know. I got to think about it. But... One of the things is you guys have got to understand that you've got to play the game or the game is going to play you. Pretty much. I mean, go to the Seattle, Washington, the state of Washington, look up the secretary of state and look at all the corporations that Amazon.com has from the same address. I don't really know. I mean, that to me would be a great area because to, you know, play it safe, I would only get the PPP and EDL, uh, EDL money for one company. But in theory, you should be able to get it for each one. Last 10 years, I've been 90% successful. 
Yes, Alzo business checking will suffice. It's a business checking account. <laughs> Venom Tang. All right. You funny. I'm earning money. You know, we're going to find out what happens when you cannot pay the PPP money. I have a feeling they're going to make some uh, adjustments. <laughs> no, you're not. You ain't getting no more than 600. All right. Let me go ahead and say this again. If the Democrats go ahead and get the Senate then you will see the mother of all stimulus packages and you'll see more than 600 bucks. If they don't, you will not. No, I don't regret. Not, I'm not invested in real estate. I don't regret it at all. Essentially, here, here's the thing, um, what I'm looking at. Real estate, real estate, uh, all right, let's have this conversation. Go to the Google machine and look at the world's top 100 richest people, and none of them got their money from real estate. Where did they get their money from? Business. And... Um, at some point, I'm going to get in real estate, but I think I'm going to do Airbnb versus a long term hold and rent. Because. Let's say I took four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and bought a rental. OK. And I bought that rental. And let's see. Four hundred and fifty thousand. So the most I can get for that rental would be. 3,800 a month times 12. So that's $45,000 a year times 10. Let's go ahead and say um, about eight to nine years because I periodically will be able to raise rent. So we're looking at eight years for me to get my initial investment back. And at the eight year mark, that four hundred and fifty thousand dollar property becomes a cash cow and the four hundred and fifty thousand dollar property appreciates. But here's the thing. Let's go ahead and take. Four hundred and fifty thousand dollars and spend it on ads. Four hundred and fifty times ads. And let's say I get. Six X. It's two point seven million dollars. So I'm rethinking the real estate because like, you know, everyone says real estate, no, real estate, real estate, real estate can be good. It can be great, but business is better. So we will see. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I feel that the Democrats don't think they're going to take Georgia and that's why they want to hit with the stimulus. Pretty much. Pretty much kicking the can down the road. Absolutely. All right. Pretty much. The tarot counselor, uh, I got some people who are well, um, well insulated, well suited. They know a lot about Airbnb. They are helping me. So we will see. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if the Democrats can win um, Georgia, you will see the mother of all stimulus packages. You will see that. It will be crazy what you will see.
But essentially, like I said in the beginning, I've been telling you guys to go ahead, become corporate citizens, get your holding company, get your operating companies, get your EINs, get your corporate banking, because you blow more money eating out than what it will take to set this up. Nope, I haven't thought about military. Mm -mm. So, like, once again, you guys have got to go ahead and stimulate your own economy. Like, all, you know, because I was kind of like, what is up with all of these people who got this EDL and PPP money? That's, that was like 50% of my consults in recent. And it's like, they got that money. They got that money. And mark my words, there will be some allowances. I guarantee you that the people who don't pay these loans back, I, I just have a feeling there's not going to be a harsh penalty. I have a feeling there's going to be some kind of forgiveness come, especially if the Democrats get in power. Anthony Ortega, what's the best thing you know how to do? I mean, right now, there's so much that is going on. There's so much that is going on. But once again, you need to become a corporate citizen. You know, if you don't buy my product, you need to get your holding company. You need to get your LLCs operating. You, you, you need to get all that going. Because what's going to happen is after, you know, July after January 5th, we will know if the Democrats will have Georgia or not. And fully expect more business loans, fully expect funding of the PPP, fully expect all this stuff to come. And if you're not in a position where you could take advantage, you be boo boo the fool. I'm here to tell you stimulate your own economy, get this government money. I was actually shocked because some dude told me that he had got the EDIL money recently. They still got funds. They still got money. Yes, that this is the thing, because like I said, business money is greater than investor money. Once again, go to the Google machine, look up the top 100 richest people in the world, and see how they got their money. It's not real estate. It's business. And many of them have taken that business income and put it into real estate for passive income. But they got all those, I mean... Elon Musk, Tesla. Let me see. What does Elon, Elon Musk check? How much does he pay himself? So here's something that's, that's always is interesting. So Elon Musk is actually getting direct compensation once the, I think all these things have happened. He's going to get 2.3 $2 billion in 2018 as the CEO of Tesla. All right. This, this is a whole nother game. This is a whole nother game. When you are a CEO of a company, if it makes money, do it, Samuel. No, the EDL, the max isn't. No, I know people who got like 500,000. <laughs> I did not send out a text. 
So go ahead, gentlemen, and uh, I I'm going to say Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a happy new year if y'all don't see me. And I will see you guys later. The corporate toolbox, the price will be increasing in 2021. Links below. So with that, I'll see you guys later.